Q&M. What a fucking day I had today. I went to this, uh, this, uh, mole thing. There's a lot of moles, you know. The whole Christmas vibe. I don't know if this is what Christmas was meant to be. You know what I mean? Here, you're gonna, you're gonna go break your balls, right? Right, pal? You're gonna stand online for hours with a gift, right? For five fucking hours of Macy's with some piece of shit that she's bringing back the day after Christmas. I know her reaction to anything you buy her, and I don't even know you. Oh, it's so nice. It's really cute. But I have something like it. Would you mind if I brought it back? Now, why didn't you fucking buy it to start with? Oh. And they rip you off in the morning, everything. Anniversary sale, red tag sale, white tag sale. Why can't they just be honest and say, hey, it's the shit we can't get rid of sale. Because they come up with all these things like these uh, mood shorts. The fuck them up. It's like you blow on them, they turn another color. I don't know about mood shorts, I know about mood underwear. You buy them white, they turn yellow. And they turn brown. And they set themselves on fucking fire. Oh, do they fuck you on this holiday? They just fuck you. I had a headache from it, a friggin' migraine. Every store the same shit. <laughs> sweatshirts. I, I bought this fucking sweatshirt today. 44 bucks for something that's gonna fit my dog after the first wash. <laughs> I go, why is it 44 bucks? Go, it says bum. <laughs> so I'll take the fucking letters off. Everything's handmade. I love that routine. That's always great. Well, it's a handmade item. I didn't think like a guy knitted it together with his dick. <laughs> Just that whole sales rap when you come into a store. They make like they love you, the salesperson. You walk in, right? How you doing today? You just got to look at him and go, I'm out of my fucking mind, all right? So why don't you just step out of my way before I step over you? And then you walk around, and the leech catches up to you again. I hate fucking salespeople. <laughs> you bastards. Now they come up to you, the next line. Anything in particular you're looking for? Yeah, blowjob. You want to give me one? <laughs> it's unbelievable, you know? They just don't leave you alone. And then I go in, I got to get a suit. Right? Walk into this clothing thing. It's Chinese, uh, Chinaman. <laughs> Sales guy. Comes over to me. Kai, how are you? How are you today? <laughs> so I, like, had it up to this fucking point. I'm figuring, all right, he's a little Chinese guy. What the fuck am I going to do? 
He said, yeah, I need a suit, a blue suit, uh, 42 long. So he's looking at me. 38? 42 long. 38? Don't read my fucking lips. 42 long. 40? That's too small. 42 long. 42? What the fuck are you talking about? Give me a 42 long. 40? It's too small, y'all fuck. I mean, for a half hour over there, I'm standing back and forth like I'm playing fucking uh, ping pong with the... F- yeah, 42 fucking long. 40? Uh, I'm looking at this fucking guy like... Oh, fucking chink. How many times I gotta fucking tell you this? 42 fucking long. 40 fucking short. 42 fu- I go, what's your name, right? So I go, choose. I go, God bless you. <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm nice, you know. I say, uh, so what's your name? Cho. God bless you. <laughs> what's your name? Cho. What, what, you got the fucking flu? No, he works here too. So now I understand it's his name. So I go, all right, look, Chew. He goes, God bless you. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? I'll make it fucking rain in here. Just get me the fucking suit. <laughs> I didn't buy the suit, man. Because then we finally figure out the size. Now we don't have the color. I'm going, yeah, all right, give it to me a uh, navy blue. Navy rule? <laughs> blue, oh, blue, oh, blue, oh, y'all, fuck, I'll kill you. I'll just fucking kill you. I'll take every suit in the fucking store. I don't need that kind of pressure in my life. But you got to be nice now, you know, people are starting to care. It's like the big thing now is uh, celebrities showing up at disaster sites. You know, because me, you know, I, you know, if I donate to a charity, I don't like on TV or in the newspaper. I, you know, I do it. You know, I got the bread here. Go cure your ass, you know. <laughs> I mean, celebrities, I'll tell you the truth, because I'm one. They, they try to fucking bullshit the public, man. They do shit just to let everybody see, hey, look how good I am. So now the big thing is like a celebrity showing up at like disaster sites. I mean, well, what good are they? You know what I mean? They had like this huge train wreck in New York a few months ago. Now, I don't know who showed up, but I'm figuring, hey, the last thing you need to see the train wreck is like Rodney Dangerfield running around doing one line is, well, you're looking for your foot on the fucking tracks. <laughs> you know what I mean? And he's running around going, hey, I had a rough day today. <laughs> now, if you're the guy without the foot, you're looking at him like rough day. <laughs> Cocksucker, I got to walk on my hands to take a piss for the rest of my life. You had a rough day. I had a rough day, motherfucker. Everybody's in rehab. That's everybody. That's uh, that's another big thing. I run into a guy. Go, hey, Dice. Dice, I haven't had a drink in 300 days. And I'm like, great. Here's to you. I give a fuck for him. Oh, they come up with these fucking diets now. They come up with these diets like, oh, yeah, you you lose 100 pounds the first month. 
just eat our food. So you eat that food, you lose the weight, you also shit blood for the month. <laughs> but you don't care, because you look good. You live till you're 32, but you look great. And then you run in, you know, I love when you run into these guys that drop like 10 pounds. And you know six months later, the guy's going to be a sack of shit again. <laughs> And you know what pricks people are, you're people, you know what I'm saying? So it's like you set the guy up for the fall, you know? So when you see him and he lost the 10 pounds, you come over, you're looking like you, you don't even recognize the guy. You're like, Aldo, is that you? I don't even believe this, I didn't recognize you. And all of a sudden the guy's like, oh really? Think this was easy? You know how I did this? Fruit all morning, water all day. Now, six months later, the guy's a sack of shit again. So here comes the prick. Hey, Aldo, you fat fucking bastard. What happened, huh? Cake all morning, cookies all day, huh? What, you walk by a fucking bakery, you ugly fucking piece of shit? It's like when I watch Jay Leno on TV now. Now, he always had a head the size of a chandelier. You know, I think he's a cocksucker personally. Because this is a guy, like, when my career took off, it wasn't good because I didn't do, like, 7-Eleven jokes, you know. Like, he'll do 7-Eleven jokes, but he won't talk about the fucking gooks that run the joint. You know, but I do it, so oh, that's no good. I don't do that. That fucking big-headed... Let me tell you something. That guy's head is so fucking big, he looks at the floor, his chin hits himself in the balls. He's the only guy I know a chick could sit on his face. It's like a bicycle seat. He wipes his ass with his chin. Eh, uh, cocksucker, scumbag, motherfucker, what he is. He used to work in a hospital giving chin enemies. <laughs> Fucking brick. Well, look at me, my giant head, and now his head's fat, man. He put on like 80 pounds in the last month. Oh, it's great, I love to see him like that. That's what eating all those fucking chips he sells. That's it. Keep eating them, Jay. His head's bigger than his fucking pillow already. I'm telling you something. He's going to hate what I just said so fucking much. And I'm going to love that so fucking much. Hey, don't, honey. Oh, shit. The Uh, uh, I'm looking for a cute little bull liquor tonight. You could be her. It's your birthday, huh? And how old are you? How old are you? 25? What's your name? Jamie. All right, good. Happy birthday. Happy fucking birthday. Well, how would you know? You don't know nothing about her. She's a nice girl. Leave her alone. She's sweet. Uh, you are a real redhead, right? No, you're not? What are you? Like brown? Did you dye the other half? Well, I know why you didn't dye it. This way I could distinguish your head from your bush. Because let's say I got you on your belly. You know what I mean? Uh, 
<sighs> what about you? That's your wife? What'd you look at her? You, you looked down at her like, uh, not yet. How long you dating him? Four years. Well, I guess he just doesn't have time to make the date. Is that what it is, pal? Haven't had time. I understand. I understand. I'm a guy, you know. You love her, but you just haven't had time. Oh, you got time to hang out with the guys on Friday and look at other chicks' asses. Got time to fix your car. Got time to go to work. Earn a buck, right? <laughs> got time to use every hole in her body like a fucking receptacle. But the minute she turns around and says, let's get married, I want a commitment, and you're like, hey, honey, I don't want to feel trapped. You know why he's like that, honey? Because he's a scumbag. Yeah, go fuck yourself. It's all right when I picked on the redheads, Bush. Guys, you got to take it, too. Come on. Look at him over there. He's a jerk-off. It's plain to see. <laughs> Guy's wearing sunglasses in a dark room. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't fucking believe that you stuck with him for four years. <sighs> There's something about him? All right, look, it's your life. You know what I mean? If, if you're willing just to be used... And at the last minute, he'll turn around and say, I, I can't do it. I really love you, but I, I can't marry you. Never. Never, right? Well, you're going with him four years. Four fucking years. You bang him, you blow him, you stick your tongue in his dirty fucking ass. You know, I try to help you out as a woman, and you're going, never. You ever cheat on her? No, I'm talking to him now. I tried to protect you. That's over. You cheat on her, right? No, no, I'm not talking to you now, honey. And with that fucking annoying voice, I couldn't blame him if he fucked every chick in the room. It, it just grates on you. I didn't see him laugh at that joke too much. Because I know what he's thinking. He's thinking, I'm going to bring my chick to see Dice's show. It's going to call her every fucking thing I ever wanted to call her. But didn't quite have the balls to do it. He gets to laugh his ass off, walks out of the club, looks at you and goes, ah, Dice, he don't know what the fuck he's talking about. In the meantime, I already cured him, you know what I mean? So he still goes home, he gets laid, and what am I doing? A knuckle shuffle on my piss pump. And all the chicks get mad at me, so I'm telling you right now, pal, from now on, girls, I'm your spokesperson. Hey. Hey, just look at me like a chick with balls. <laughs> Call me Penny with a penis. Coral with a cocky. <laughs> hey, that's your husband, right? Isn't it funny how I knew they were just dating and you're married? Well, yeah, well, the pregnancy helped. <laughs> Excited, pal? Yeah, aren't you? Mm hmm. Good. Still banging it away, you what? No way. You know what I mean? It gets a little weird. Kid's in there, he sees this thing. It's a little hungry, bites it. How long are you married now? Eight years. So you have a kid already? Oh, this is the first? Took you eight years? Would you have a friend do it for you? 
Oh, fucking Jacob. Did you try for a long time? No? Oh, well, protection, that kind of thing. You faked orgasm? Well, that makes two of yous. Just the fact that she bangs you is ridiculous. I mean, I know more about him than you do, honey. I could tell you all about this fucking guy. Remember when you were just dating, it was all flowers and cards, right? The minute you got married, walked over the threshold. Hey, honey, pull my finger. Ah, you fuck yeah. It's a fart machine, are you kidding me? Guy's got enough gas to eat Long Island, believe me. Oh, guys, love to fart, fart, fucking fart. Because around their buddies, if he could, like, fart the Star Spangled Banner, it's held in the utmost regard. <laughs> Women don't appreciate it the way we do. He gets in bed, the sheets start popping. <laughs> He'll look over you. There must be a ghost in here. And you're looking at him like, it smells fucking dead. <laughs> oh, man, what do you think? I don't know about him. You got to be turned on to get pregnant, honey. That's part of it, believe me. And I know he'd want you to come to bed with the sexy nylons, the pumps, the hair, the makeup, the whole pig that you are routine. <laughs> But he's married. He don't care no more. He wants you to be sexy. Here he comes in black socks and white fucking boxer shorts. With skid marks. And you're looking at him like, fuck him. Fuck him. He might have half a shit hanging out of his ass. I know what you go through with this guy. The bathroom, right? It's a trail of toothpaste, right? There's enough mold and shit on the shower curtain, you could cure fucking AIDS with it. And there's the toilet. The lid is up. Right? Enough little hairs against the dried piss that it looks like the bowl is forming a goatee. It's like you're shitting on Fidel Castro. And if you get the courage to sit on the bowl, don't worry about reading material. Because he's normally got a couple issues of beaver hunt laying around. Just peel the pages apart. Because us guys, we love the girly magazines. We love them. I, I can't check off without them. But women, there's only a few magazines for women. Women don't get that crazy over that, you know. I mean, what's she going to come home with one of a, a girly magazine uh, going, hey, oh, you see the scrotum on Mr. May? Look at a sack on Mr. June, huh? And then, of course, the guy's dick covers four pages. And he's looking at it like, uh, that's impossible. That ain't real. And you're thinking, I'd take a shot. Yeah, I know all about him. Oh, yeah. Go fuck yourself. You see, some guys can't handle this kind of humor. <laughs> don't worry, you never know how the show works out in the end. But right now I'm dealing with him. What do you think? I don't know how he gets on top of you with a sharp finger and toenails. He claws at your tits. It's like fucking Freddy Krueger. He's got enough deodorant under his arms. It's like stucco. Because guys, when they bang, they don't just sweat. They rain on you. They wonder why you can't have an orgasm. You feel those droplets of sweat beating on the top of your forehead. It's like a Chinese fucking torture. And the sounds he makes. Does this sound familiar, honey? Hey, baby. I'm gonna come. Boom! Oh, 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 I'll tell you the truth. 
you don't know if the guy's coming or throwing up. And then the look's on a guy's face when he comes. You ever see the look on a guy's face when he comes? I never did. But I got a mirror above my bed when I'm jerking off, it looks pretty funny. You know, guys get that face like a go, like a fucking goat. Women make funny faces too, though, man. Women are like, like a chink taking a shit or something. I'd love to get a picture of a couple when they come together, but we know uh, <laughs> that'll never happen. Especially with a married guy. He knows the routine now. Full play to him is pulling his zipper down. <laughs> Zip! You ready, honey? <laughs> you kidding, baby? He gets in bed with you, it's like he's got a fucking checklist. He gets in bed, he's right. Like, All right, let me see over here. Tits, lick them, check. <laughs> Neck, bit it, check. Ears drooled all over him, check. Squeezes your ass, two pumps, he's out cold. <laughs> but you see, honey, you're married and you're gonna have children now. So you got the upper hand. So next time you're laying in the wet spot and he's laying next to you, drooling, farting, burping. Doing all the lovely things you admire about him. You got your checklist. And you take it out. All right, you piece of shit. Divorced in nine months. Check. House will definitely be mine. Check. Car that this idiot's going to be making payments on will be mine. Check. And I'll have a new boyfriend. With a real cock. A big, fat, vein laid in blood and gorge, meat mashing, loin lashing, cunt crashing, cock! <laughs> Your girlfriend's pretty cute, though, I dig her. Bet she's got a bush that would make a chia pet jealous, eh? What a mess she must have down there. Like hair extent, like a fucking haystack, you know? I bet her bush is so hairy, she takes off her panties, her pussy saying, welcome to the fucking jungle! <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! I love a hairy bush. Nothing like it. Especially like a chick with red hair. It's like eating a fucking orange. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, shit. Ah, ah, shit. We got a red-headed chick. What about a red-headed guy? Nah, he don't really have that red hair. Well, a little. Yeah, he's red. See, red-headed guys are different, you know. Chick looks at a red-headed guy like, uh, well, what am I going to do, fuck the cover of Mad Magazine? You know what I mean? They get in bed, they're like, oh, fuck me, howdy doody. Give it to me, Ralph Mouth. Fill me up, Rusty. It's like no chick wants to blow a guy with a freckle on his schmeckle, you know what I'm saying? You understand that, right? With your, uh, what kind of head do you have, like David Cassidy? Ugh. Yeah, uh, Danny Partridge, all right. <laughs> Fuck me, Danny Partridge. <laughs> all right, you happy? <laughs> now shut up before I bend over and paint tits on your back. <laughs> See, they're smart. They sat in the back. You're the idiot. You're the married guy. Oh, the shit he must have done to you to get you pregnant. 
Bet he pulls on your nipples like that lug nuts, huh, honey? Yeah, what? What, you never saw a girl's ass before? Guy's looking at a girl's ass like it came from another planet. You're a fucking jack off. Both of you, you and your buddy. Dude, look how he's got to sit next to you. It's like he can't even be separated from you. Is that your girlfriend? Oh, that, the blonde. That's how you refer to her. You see how he treats you? Doesn't that hurt you, honey? You're just the blonde that he's fucking. And he's going to drink tonight and he's going to want to fuck you again. That's how guys get after a guy drinks. That's all a guy wants to do. Bang. That's it. He'll come home three in the morning drunk out of his mind. You'll want to sleep, but he'll be like, Hey, baby. I want to fuck anything that gets in my way. Now, you, you'll be looking at his dick like it took full volume. Because after a guy's been drinking, his dick ain't doing nothing but pointing south. That's why they say a dick's got a mind of his own. His own dick is looking at him like a pal. I've been pissing for the last four hours. Now I gotta go in there? Even a dick knows when to say when. <laughs> you really got big fat tits. For a birthday girl, you got the biggest fattest fucking tits in the room. Oh, look at those fucking tits. Oh, 40 too long. It's just an observation. That should be a compliment to you. You got those big nips that go with it? I love big fucking nipples. I like nipples like the size of your kneecaps. That's a great laugh you got, honey. Now, if you could do that when you're blowing me, that'll make it like a nice sensation. And that's another thing, you know. You're dating four years, the passion leaves a little. He complains. Believe me, he'll complain. How come you don't blow me the way you used to? Because your balls smell like your asshole. I'd rather suck off the dog. At least he licks his balls once in a while. Because, see, guys, we got to make the chick come. That's, that's our thing. Got to do it. See, well, you guys pushed it, not me. I was always like a dumb truck. Come and go, you know what I mean? Well, what does a dump truck really do? Drop a load and leave. Oh! But no, you know, us guys, we got that macho thing. You know, we got to do it. He'll twist your tit like that TV tuners. One hand's going in and out of your ass like a saw. The other one's playing with the clit like a windshield wiper at a whack. He's trying to keep a pace with his dick. I mean, they either come or blow up. I mean, why push it? Why push it when, when you could just jerk off all over yourself? I'll tell you the truth. I'm going on 27 years of jerking off. When I hit 30, I'm buying my dick a gold Rolex. There's nothing like jerking off. Come on. Today, with all the disease out there, it's respectable. It's the first thing you should say when you meet a chick. What do you do? I jerk off. All over myself, constantly. I can't make a move without jerking off. It's my life's blood. 
Hey, you want a little tip? You're going to jack off tonight? Don't use Vaseline. It beads up in the shower. Use turtle wax. You get a good shine, it prevents rust. Sometimes it's great to jerk off laying on your side. You ever try that? And maybe have a chick's mouth like an inch away from your dick? Just like as a drain effect. You know what I mean? This way you don't gotta clean the sheets, you know. You don't even need a fucking tissue when you're done. You're saving on Kleenex. She's having a great time. See, to me, that's the perfect day. You go out with a girl, right? You get undressed, she gets undressed. And you start jerking it. Oh, show me your tits. Oh, let me see your bush. Oh, bend over, drop the keys. Ah, oh, can I call you again? I mean, in my mind, the girl's got to leave there saying, look what a nice guy he is. He didn't lay a hand on me. That's a gentleman. Because that's the problem today. Guys don't have, like, any manners in bed. And that's what hurts me. Yeah. Yeah, it hurts me. Not that I don't like to bang, but like this guy. He's going with a chick four years. Right? Where's your manners? When was the last time you were in bed with her and said, sweetheart, please pass the pussy? It would be an honor to lick your bush. Would it inconvenience you if I came on the tip of your chin? I mean, a little class. What are you looking at him for, honey? What do you think he doesn't jack off? <laughs> All guys jack off. Especially this time of year. It's cold out. Your balls get into a little knot. You know what I mean? You warm them up. You know what I mean? Yeah! <laughs> This time of year, you get that whole new zest for jerking off. I'm smitten with it. I'll tell you the truth. Everybody, Jerry, here, look at Pee Wee, right? Pee Wee made a career out of jerking off. I never even liked the guy till I heard he jerked off all over himself. Now he's got my respect. I'm waiting for his next movie to come out, The Adventures of Pee Wee, coming in a theater near you. You can't jerk off in public. You see, that's, that's where he made his mistake. You know what I mean? I mean, women can masturbate in public. You know, they do, they do shit, you know. You know what I mean? Guys, I mean, it's hard to be inconspicuous when your fist is going 90 reps a minute on your fucking dick. You gotta pick your spots. Go to McDonald's, three in the morning. You're waiting in your car, you got a 10 minute wait. Jerk off all over yourself. Watch a guy try to peel a 10 spot off your hand. Here, go ahead, take it. Go ahead, what, my money's no good over here? I'll make it rain over here, take my fucking money. And then he goes to hand you the burgers. Here, take this. Go ahead. What, you don't want the burgers, hey? Uh, I've been in here from six o'clock, it's my third fucking load already. But I'll tell you the truth, guys get a little insecure when women masturbate. And women do. <laughs> oh, yeah. You come home, pal, you see a die-hard battery and jumper cables on the nightstand. And that fucking Energizer bunny running around the room. Still going. Still fucking going. Why should she give up ever ready for never ready, huh? Oh, how many different ways did you even try to bang her? Lots of different ways. Would you say he's a good bang, honey? Yeah? Good, maybe I'll bang him. Oh! 
Because guys, you know, we're, we're, we're creative in bed. We come up with all kinds of ideas. Hey, honey, would you like me to come between your tits? 210 pound hairy ass on your chest for an hour. What's the payoff? A cream rinse? And guys, we're real logicians. Ah, oh, what logicians? We put it all the. Hey, what are you worried about? It's protein. So's Metamucil, honey. You sprinkle that on your neck. But I'm not sick in bed. You know, I, I do the standard fucking blowing, eating routine. Maybe a little jerking here and there. You masturbate, as, right, honey? Please tell me you do. That's great. Now I'll jerk off later and think about you jerking off. You know what I hate when you call a chick to jerk off? And that's the only reason you'd call her. And all of a sudden, in the middle, they get, like, shy. You know what I mean? It's like you're going like a fucking steamroller. You know, you're like... You know, so you're jerking. And all of a sudden, she's like going, um, can, can you call me back tomorrow? What are you talking about? I'm the only, uh, two more seconds. No, no, my mother's here. I gotta go, right? So now you hang up. And you're still going. You're not stopping, right? And as you're jerking, you're getting pissed off, right? And you could just imagine on the other end of the phone, like she's, her mother's going, Honey, would you piss the sweet and low in a Danish, right? And you're like, uh, 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 And you're getting pissed off. You pick up that fucking phone. Doosh! You start the dial. Doosh, 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 doosh. Right? She's like, um, a little more coffee and then, da da ding da 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 ding And you're, uh, 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 hello? Oh! Oh! Hey, you fucking piece of shit! And I'm never calling you again click <laughs> nothing like jerking on the phone <laughs> but you know what his big fantasy is baby hey you want me to tell you because I know two chicks Two fucking chicks at once. And you know I was going to try to pull it off. They'll come home with a porno tape. Which, those are the greatest movies to watch. <laughs> Nothing like porno, right? You know what I hate? You want to talk ass looking? I hate an ass eating scene that isn't well lit. You know what I'm saying? That just gnaws at me. And then sick fucking prick cocksuckers like this. They get ideas from those movies. Like when they come on the chick's back, how they rub it in like it's Ben Gay. That's sick fucks like him. This is the type of guy gets in bed with his chick. Hey, I got an idea. Maybe I'll fuck you in the ass tonight. <laughs> Girls, take out a baseball bat and try it on them first. I know to type you up, pal. You're the type that walks in and goes, hey, honey, I got an idea. I, I got, maybe I'll piss on you. Would you like me to piss all over you? And that's when you got to look at the guy that you're married to, that, that you're having children with and say, you think? Gotta piss on me. If you don't mind waking up in the morning with a mouth full of shit. Piss on me, cocksucker, I'll bite off your balls and spit them in your face. I'm a woman, not a fucking fire hydrant. <laughs> See, now don't get me wrong, I like to bang them out pretty good. I don't mind fucking a chick, I'll pick them off, it don't make a difference to me. Oh. And then after you're done banging, you know, guys, like I said, real macho. After you're done banging your chick, we all get up through the same thing. We look down at them like we've caused complete fucking damage. We bang that pussies into oblivion. We circle the bed three, four times. You all right, honey? I didn't hurt you, did I? 
And chicks, man, they look at us like, hurt me. Triplets could come out of here like the Alaskan bobsledding team. Ten pound babies could pop out of here and parachute. What do you think you're gonna do with your three inch fucking bobcock? They look at you like, hurt me, let's fucking mambo. Because after a guy bangs, you know how you lay there. You're like, oh, 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 oh. And they're at the other end of the room doing aerobics. We don't do nothing to them. That's why when they fake it, never ask a chick, did it feel good? Did, did you fake it? Let them fucking fake it. Let them give you the show. What do you think, you're black? Come on. If I was a chick, that's all I'd bang as black guys. Why beat around the bush when you could just fill the fucking thing up? Even your wife knows what I'm talking about. But what about black chicks, eh? Uh, they got a warmth and sexuality. Can't be touched. Because I've been living out in Hollywood. Go fuck yourself. Buy the album, scumbag. By the fucking eye, I come up here, I do the same old fucking rhymes. Then you're gonna go, how come you didn't do any new stuff? <laughs> now I do the new stuff, you go, where are the rhymes? <laughs> eh, eh, I fucked your mother in the ass and she had you, all right? <laughs> Here's a rhyme for you and your buddy. Peter, Peter, pumpkin eater, knew a chick but couldn't meet her. Saw her brother one fine day, sucked his cock, now he's gay. <laughs> Hickory, dickory, dock, she took a good look at your cock. It's really scary, old wrinkled and hairy. It smells like a ten-year-old sock. Ow! <laughs> You had to push it, didn't you? You couldn't just let me rip this jerk off a pot. Your wife told me about you muscles, big shoulders, big arms, big thighs, no dick. It's like putting an inchworm in a tunnel, that's what she told me. 220 pounds of dynamite with a quarter inch fucking fuse. Your wife told me your dick is so small she could blow you and eat a hero sandwich at the same time. You bulky head cocksucker! <laughs> and I'm sitting there wearing his one earring. What does that mean? I'm just half a fag? <laughs> look how pretty I look from this side of my face. Wants to see how tough he looks wearing mommy's stuff. <laughs> oh, fucking hot on. Uh, fuck with me! He probably don't even bang it too good anyway. Him and the tattoo artist, look at him. Right, this is yours, right? The tattoo? I'm sure your parents are just pleased as peach with him. What does he do, run IBM? Is he running for U.S. Senate? <laughs> he gets in bed with you, you know what he does? Real slow motion type of thing. Hey, so how was your day at the office? See, that's wrong to treat your girlfriend like that. That's not how you treat the redhead if you got her. No way. See, guys get the wrong idea. You think, hey, treat her nice. Treat the girlfriend nice. But the redhead that you pick up in a bar that you're never going to see again, you know what you do? You fuck her like this! No, wrong, you fucking asshole! That's how you're supposed to treat the girlfriend. Unless you're happy with her being in Chippendales with strange balls across her face. You come home, you grab her by her fat ass, and you fuck her like this! When you smoke a joint and you get the urge to eat pussy, is that considered munchies? <laughs> Does whisker on the color become she didn't swallow your fuller? 
You know, it's getting harder and harder to find a masseuse who will blow you without an argument. At least a female one. Don't most men actually think that the more money they spend on a date, the more fingers they could try to stick in your pussy when they go to kiss you goodnight? Like dinner and a show gives them the right to camp out in your crack for an hour. <laughs> And you know what gets me mad? The guys who lose money at the racetrack and go home cursing the horses instead of the spick jockey who deserves the blame. You know, and you know the funny thing about jerking off since you want to bring it up again. You know, you know like two in the morning when you're trying to jerk and you think you can't? And then all of a sudden you pull like two or three loads out? It's like your dick was just playing possum with you. Just, I mean, you know, while we're talking. I mean, jerking off, let's face it, it's the bane of my existence. <laughs> the old year is gone. Oh, how time does fly. To you and your family, I hope you all die. <laughs> That's not a poem, it's a greeting card I put out. You missed my Thanksgiving one. The harvest is in. God bless the bean and fig. Your mother is a big fat fucking suckling pig. I think they'll sell. All right, so... uh all right, since, since you requested it for old time's sake. Maybe we should try to just change all of them right now. Uh, Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. Jack wants to lick your girlfriend's clit. Oh! Little boy blue, but he'd rather eat your girlfriend's ass. Oh! Humpty Dumpty fucked you in the ass. Oh! Uh, once an old lady lived in a shoe, she had so many kids, she wanted to fuck you in the ass. Oh! Everybody's fucking you in the ass tonight. Little Jack Horner sat in the corner, fucking him in the ass, oh! <laughs> all right, let's, uh, all right, uh... Twinkle, 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 little star, how I wonder what you are. Shine upon the parking lot as I fuck you in the ass! <laughs> Uh, hey, good old Mother Ghost, remember her? She fucked him in the ass! Oh! I'm getting out of here, you've been a great crowd. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year.
let yourself go All you need is just a little rehearsal The first thing that you know You'll be ready for the grand finale So come on baby, let's go Let yourself go Let yourself go right now Let yourself go I say hey baby I say hey baby Let yourself go When you come close to me And the music swell When we're on the floor And you're showing me what to do You may be dancing with me I'm making love to you When you dance with me I feel heavenly Heaven in your body You're in ecstasy When we're on the floor And you're showing me what to do You may be dancing with me I'm making love to you Don't stop the music Please don't stop your